Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. My name is Fafa Gilbert and thanks very much for joining me for another exciting episode. Now today's recipe is what I'd call flavor zone. It's just like bursting with flavors. So I've got my red snapper and it's fresh. I didn't want to overdo it. Smeared it with some beautiful sauce. Infused it with some rosemary. Grilled it. And I'm gonna have it with some fried yam and my chateau. Hmm. I think I'm not gonna complain. It just sounds like a perfect lunch idea and I love that. Now you need to watch my chateau recipe, trust me. When you watch that one, you're gonna enjoy chateau for the rest of your life now. <laughs> Now this is an easy recipe to follow and you can use any type of fish that you prefer. You can use your tilapia, your mackerel and in this case I'm actually using red snapper. But I'll tell you what, the whole story of this red snapper is quite exciting one. I have been going to this grocery shop for quite a while now. Unbeknown to me, behind the shop there was a secret fishmonger there that only operated at the weekends. And I didn't even know about it. Now I'll tell you what excited me the most. I went there, it was fresh catfish, barracuda, prawns, live crabs. I mean seriously, it is within easy access. It's only about a 10-15 minutes drive for me. I'm like, yay, I'm coming back to the shop. They had those tiny fishes as well that one can fry to go with a king cake. Charlie, nah, this one there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, now let me now start talking about what I'm actually making today because if not I'm I think I'm just excited about this little find of mine anyway moving on so when I saw this red snapper it definitely had to come with me and guess what I also bought some barracuda as well yes that recipe is going to come up soon now one thing I do like about red snapper is I love to combine my red snapper with rosemary I find that as a perfect perfect combination you should try it you might thank me later and so I just stuff in about three sprigs of rosemary into the cavity of the fish what this will do is when I'm actually grilling it the oils of the rosemary would actually infuse into the flesh of the fish which is just perfect and then now I'm going to talk about my marinade now, if you have actually watched my previous video, which is um, on how to make the best chateau, then you know about the sauce because the sauce has tomato paste, it has ginger, onion and anise seed and as well as the shrimp stock cube that I've cooked down. So it was a process of making the chateau and I did reserve some and it's what I'm actually using to marinate my fish today. You can also marinate the fish using the smoky salsa sauce, which you can find in one of my previous videos. So you are spoiled for choice. <laughs> Equally, they all taste great. At this stage, marinate your fish with your preferred sauce and also preheat your grill to 180 degrees. We're only gonna marinate this fish for 10 minutes because that's all it requires. The fish is fresh and you just don't want to overpower it. Naturally, you you know, I would say that marinating fish shouldn't take that long. When you marinate it, then it means for too long, then it means that you're actually losing that nice, delicate fish flavor and you don't want that. So 10 minutes is the maximum time that you do require for this. Also, if you've been following my cooking series, I've also mentioned or always mentioned that it's imperative that you actually make your tomato sauces and you can refrigerate it or freeze it. So as and when a recipe requires it like this instance, it's a matter of just using it. So at this point, my grill is ready and I'm just gonna be grilling my fish. I'm gonna grill this for 18 to 20 minutes. I just need the skin to be crispy. And yes, now I'm gonna to move to my yam. Now, yam is just like potatoes, um, but it actually has a hard outer shell. It's denser and it's got a little bit more starch than potatoes and it's sweeter. So all I've just done here is just peeled the yam and I'm actually cutting it lengthways so I can actually form that perfect chip shape. So just to 
just add your oil to your frying pan and you need quite a substantial amount to fry your yam. Now I've actually sliced my yam and I need to wash it. So I'm just going to wash it and then fry it just beautifully. So now that your yam is actually washed, um, you just need to salt it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. Just toss it so that each chip is actually flavored with the salt. Yes. So now this oil is just going to heat up. I place it on the medium heat and I'm going to leave this for about four minutes then before I actually add my air. So I'm just testing that the oil is ready because I don't need it too hot. I just need it perfect so that it actually cooks the yam as well as fry it at the same time. So it's the perfect temperature and please do take all necessary precautions when you're dealing with hot oil because yes, you just don't want you to burn. <laughs> no, I don't want you to burn. No, no. So yes, this is the temperature that I do require. And then yes, I'm going to be leaving this to fry for about seven to 10 minutes. So just after four minutes, I'm actually just going to test to see if um, it's frying perfectly and if I need to turn it. And at this point, I do because you can see it's slightly brown in and I can feel that it's getting crispy, but I need it to just brown a little bit. Um, most people would actually like it just like this, but I like it a little bit on the brown side. <laughs> brown eyed girl. Now, this is just perfect for me. Yes. So now, yes, I've got my fried yam. Hey, in a the shito was good. Now I've got my fried yam and I've got my grilled snapper. Actually, talking about the snapper, I need to check that out now. <laughs> this is just stunning. Just got some fresh oregano that I'm just dressing it with. That's just gonna be stunning. This really would go with like a beautiful onion salad. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Just slice some onions and serve with it. This is food. Do do Me now, my mouth is watering. This is not any other food. This is in dudu, in dudu by fafa. I'm so excited about this. And I mean, but that's not even going to be the one food. Yeah, me is one of the yeah. Hey, I like food, Papa. Hey, the other way, the so you be unza. Compared to them, it's not quite enough to go with them. Quite enough, I want to say you be. Ah, um. And I'm just going to be serving this with my black chili sauce, the Ghanaian shito, yeah, Miami onion salad. All I've done with the onion is just sliced it, add a little bit of um, vinegar and um, salt, and just tossed it. And that's it. I've got my fried yam, I've got my shito, I've got my onion salad, and I've got my grilled snapper. Hey, now you know what? I'd appreciate it if you can share some of the videos on your various social media platforms to actually push this channel from where it is now to the next level. I think, what do you think about 20,000 members by Christmas? That sounds doable. But of course I can't do it without your help. So I'd appreciate that if you can. I'd like that. <laughs> now, if you do like what you see, do not forget to click that subscribe button and show me some love. Like the video, leave a comment, try the recipe most importantly, and leave a feedback with your comments. Also, don't forget to share with your family and friends and help spread the word, help spread the Indu Dubai for First Cooking channel. You will find the transcript of this recipe on my blog in dudubaifafat.blogspot.com. I'll leave the link in my description box, so do check it out. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter as in dudubaifafat. Do pass by and say hi. Thank you very much for all your likes and I love each and every one of you. <laughs> Until next time, be nice, be kind, be you, be beautiful. Bye.